At DNS Made Easy, we understand that the needs and requirements of an organization change over time. Sometimes services that were required at the time of purchase are no longer necessary partway through the subscription cycle. This is why DNS Made Easy allows users to turn in existing services for a credit towards new services that better fit their needs. Modifying your existing subscription in DNS Made Easy is a very simple process. First, click on the Modify Subscription link, which can be found under the Account tab. Here, we can see that we're using all of our mail backup services, but only one mail server forwarding service. Since we obviously don't need all three mail server forwarding services, we will modify the subscription to omit the excess for a credit. Under Mail Server Forwarding in the grid to the right, set the quantity to keep to 1 and click the Update button. In this example, we see that removing two of the three mail server forwarding services will result in a positive credit of $30.84. This is the prorated value of the original cost of the service. Once you've made all of your desired edits, click the Finalize button. Review this screen to ensure you're satisfied with the account changes and click Complete to finalize your modifications. On your account overview, you can see the recent credit of $30.84 appear on the lower left-hand side of your screen. Now, let's apply this credit towards the purchase of a new service that we actually need. For this next example, we will add the backup mail service to the account. First, click on the Enterprise Mail Services option under Product Categories. You'll notice that the price for backup mail service is only $10.54 annually, as opposed to the standard $12.95. This is because our subscription end date is less than a year from now. Note, all services in DNS Made Easy expire at the exact same time. This is done to make purchasing easier and to help keep the cost to our clients as low as possible. Click Add to add the item to your cart and then click OK. Click View Cart to review your order. Since the current account balance is negative $30.84, your total due for this transaction is $0. Finalize your product selection by reviewing the information on this screen and hitting the Complete button. Our remaining credit of $20.30 can be seen here. In this next example, we will upgrade from a small business membership to a business membership. Click the Add button in the Business Membership Upgrade grid, and then click View Cart. Since the DNS failover add-on is now included in the business membership, we will remove the redundant upgrade before checking out. Note the Adjust Previously Purchased Services line. Click the down arrow to reveal a grid showing the upgrades you currently have appended to your account. We can remove this add-on for a prorated credit by clicking the Remove button. Once you have removed the surplus failover service, Click the down arrow associated with the Adjust Previously Purchased Services line once more to confirm your changes, and click the Finalize button to continue. Here, we can see the Business Membership Upgrade under Products You Are Purchasing. Beneath that, note the DNS Failover Service being removed and credited. The subtotal of $24.41 is adjusted by the $8.06 credit from the DNS failover services we turned in and our remaining credit from the previous example to bring our total down to $0. Click Complete to confirm your order. As you can see, modifying your DNS Made Easy subscription to fit your company's needs is a very simple process that can be done by anybody within your organization at any time. For our full support knowledge base, please visit http colon slash slash support dnsmadeeasy.com. For more tutorials and lessons on using DNS Made Easy, please visit http colon slash slash help dot dnsmadeeasy.com.